this is my aunt's cake. One of these things is not like And this is my cake. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey and it is my freaking birthday today. Monday, April 5th, 1995. The world was blessed with my presence and I am having a, a crisis. To celebrate that today, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I make my very own vegan birthday cake. Did that sound so sad that I said I am making my own birthday cake? It, it felt sad to say. I'm not much of a baker, which I expressed in my last and only baking video. And I've never attempted to make any kind of cakes or cupcakes before since going going vegan, so this is gonna be interesting. I've also never properly decorated a cake before, so that's gonna be a, <clears throat> a first. Uh, I might bring on my friend Nicole, who actually is a fantastic baker, and if you're interested, I will give you guys her Instagram if you wanna check it out. She has started a baking Instagram, and she makes really cool cookie creations that she posts. If you wanna give me the best birthday gift ever, you can subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more videos every Monday. Like this video if you actually like this video, and follow me on Instagram where I basically just post selfies of myself and occasionally some, some other vegan or design related things. Um, a quick disclaimer, because I've never made this before, I don't actually know how it's gonna turn out. So if it does turn out like crap, I will direct you all to an actual cake making video. If you're actually interested in making a cake and decorating a cake the correct way. But if you're looking for decent dad jokes and to watch me fail at making an absolutely crude looking birthday cake for myself, then you're in the right place. I didn't write any jokes today. I'm so sorry. I'm like really out of it. I think it was the mimosa that I had earlier. B-Day weekend. What are you gonna do? I don't really have much of an intro to give, so um, we're just gonna get right into baking the cake. <laughs> so let's get to it. This cake is gonna be a standard vanilla cake with some vegan buttercream frosting. I'm going to attempt this creation that I found on Pinterest. Um, it looks like it could be simple enough for me to achieve, but we will actually find out if I can make that happen. I'm just gonna film two outros, one if I actually get this right and one if I actually get this wrong. So let's, um, uh, let's do the first one. Wow, that cake actually didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. And then we'll do the other one. Well, I hope it's edible. To make the cake batter, you are going to need three cups of flour. The directions call for three cups of all-purpose white flour, but I'm doing one and a half cups of regular flour and one and a half cups of almond flour. I don't know why, I just really love the consistency of almond flour. I think it makes baked goods really soft. I also do this with my gluten-free recipes. If you haven't seen my vegan and gluten-free cookie recipe, I'll link it somewhere in this box that I'm living in. Again, this is totally optional. I've never made this before, so we're actually gonna see if it works. One and a half cups of granulated sugar. I could have just followed the instructions and done one and a half cups of regular sugar, but I wanna be bougie and I don't like listening to instructions. So I'm doing one cup of regular sugar and a half a cup of coconut sugar. It's a lot of freaking sugar, so I'm really trying to like make it like a little bit healthier. Even though I think that substituting one kind of sugar for another kind of sugar is gonna like make a vast improvement on the health of my life, and it simply is not. One teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon baking powder, one one teaspoon salt, one and a half cups canned coconut milk. When measuring out the coconut milk, make sure that you shake up the coconut milk. Sometimes I'll put it in a separate airtight container and I'll shake it up first just to make sure that the coconut milk is all mixed and you're not just pouring out the liquid or you're not just pouring out the coconut chunks. So make sure it's evenly mixed before you measure it out. One cup of vegetable oil. I'm using canola oil. I think that's what they mean by vegetable oil. One fourth cup of apple cider vinegar and one tablespoon of vanilla. I really wanted to make this a three tiered cake because why not make more work for myself? And we only have two of the round cake tins. So my mom suggested we use small cookie baking sheets. Um, if this fails, I'm blaming her. We'll see if it works. We're, we're, we're making a, um, a three-tiered, very thin, very sad, rectangular birthday cake here. I mean, everything about this video is sad. What's another addition to that? First, preheat your oven to 350 degrees and lightly grease whatever kind of pan you are using. The original recipe calls for a nine by nine cake tin, but you can use two round cake tins, you can use cookie trays, you can use your hands. In a large bowl, you're gonna mix all of your dry ingredients. So that's your flour, your sugars, your baking soda, baking powder, and salt. 
In a medium bowl, you're gonna mix together all of your wet ingredients. So that's your coconut milk, oil, vinegar, and vanilla. Finally, add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients and mix it well, but do not overmix it. Divide the batter evenly into several pans. If you wanted to add food coloring to your cake, this would be the time to do that now. I was going to add food coloring to my cake instead of the frosting in the beginning, and then I poured it in the pans, and I put it in the oven, and I forgot about it. So, that'll be next year's birthday. Next year's birthday, the cake is gonna be so much better. I'm gonna be a year older, a year more cranky, a year better at baking, and hopefully I will have like a real lighting setup and not like that shitty little metal canister that you get from Home Depot for like literally $3. Bake the cake for about 28 to 30 minutes, turning it halfway. Because I'm using these like not cake baking pans, it took me a lot less time to cook these all the way through. I cooked them only for about like 15-ish minutes, maybe 18 minutes. So I would just watch your cake very closely, make sure it doesn't burn. You wanna do the little toothpick trick where you like stick the toothpick in and it comes out clean. But I feel like that trick never works cause like never comes out clean and I don't know. Why do I make recipe videos? I'm like not good at them. <laughs> Once you take your cakes out of the oven, make sure that they cool completely before you touch them. And then after they've cooled completely, you wanna wrap them in saran wrap and you wanna put them in the fridge and let them cool even more. For the vegan buttercream frosting, you're gonna need one cup of high fat vegan butter. I like to put my butter in a bowl and then heat it up for just a couple of seconds to make it softer and easier to incorporate. Four cups of powdered sugar, two tablespoons of any liquid. Um, the recipe said any liquid and I don't really know what kind of liquids are included in that. So I did water <laughs> and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I actually had to end up doubling this frosting recipe because the one batch of frosting was just for the inside layers and the base of the, the frosting, the regular, the um, the first layer of white icing. This is so difficult to film today. And then I made another batch that I dyed three different colors and did the swooshy, the, sh the swooshies from, from the image. Do people actually watch my videos and think, wow, she's really charismatic because I literally cannot speak English. First up, go get your standing mixer out. Add your butter and half of the powdered sugar to the mixer with a paddle mixer attachment and set it on low. You want this to be set on low so you don't get it chunky, you don't over mix it. Once that's all incorporated, then you're gonna add the other half of the powdered sugar. Once that's all mixed, you're gonna add your two tablespoons of mystery liquids that they told me to add and your vanilla. Keep mixing it on low until everything is incorporated and the batter is really smooth and doesn't really have a lot of bumps in it. You can use a rubber spatula to scrape the edges and make sure everything's well incorporated. And that's it! Then put it in an airtight container and stick that baby in the fridge for later. What I did is I made both the cake and the icing in the morning and I wrapped everything and put it in the fridge so that it was all cooled down and ready for me to decorate. You need to make sure that everything is cooled down because it'll be a lot easier for you to decorate the cake. Especially if your cake is too hot or warm, then the icing is just gonna melt on it and it's not gonna look cute. It's gonna ruin your whole birthday. All right, we are in the kitchen again. We are going to decorate this cake. First, we're gonna put our hair up because we don't want any little stragglers in the cake. All right, I've got my handy dandy little Lazy Susan. I've seen other people in YouTube videos like decorate a cake like that. So I'm gonna use it. Okay, we've got our cakes out of the fridge. Do I have to put something underneath this? Okay, let's put a piece of saran wrap down, I guess. It's not like we don't wing everything else in our lives. <laughs> I haven't actually tasted the cake yet, so I don't know how it tastes, but hopefully it's good. Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. Nicole, I'm already failing. I tried to take it off the pan. I like your apron. It says Real Housewife of New York. Okay, what if I flip it upside down? See how see how it is in the pan? Yeah. What if I like... You're right, okay. This is why you're here. So I made two batches of icing. I figure I just ice what I have and then the rest I can do the little like... An icing tool looks like this, right? Yeah. Okay. 
I feel like I can just like flip this upside down. Yeah, go for it. It becomes a new cake. When in doubt, we'll just cover it in candles. And I now should cut off the edges and then frost it, right? Oh, oh my God, that's such a stupid question. We've got a couple options of knives. Nope, not that one. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat it as we go. <gasps> I'm gonna put this on a plate. I got a cake pop from a christening and I left it in the kitchen for like months thinking that it would still be good. And then I finally was like, let me eat this cake pop. And I bit into it and the entire inside was covered in mold and I will never eat a cake pop again. Okay, I think it's looking good. It's kind, it's kind of like a flat cake, but like, so I just go like this. Why is it not working? Let me call you back. Like that? There's not much surface area to go up and down. <laughs> oh my God, it looks so ugly. If I want color, should I just separate this out and just go ham? Now, we're gonna take three bowls and separate out the rest. Literally one droplet. Okay. Ooh, it's very blue. Actually, it might be perfect because I'm trying to make it like pastel-y, like my brand colors. Okay, this looks pretty good. Yeah. It's baby pink. I'm just gonna dive right in. Okay, it's not sucking as much as I thought it would. Oh wait, it actually looks so good. Are you gonna write happy birthday on it? No. <laughs> what am I, Michelangelo? It looks like the image, but... I feel like if someone didn't see the image, they'd be like, what the fuck did you do? Please don't fall, please don't fall, please don't fall. It's not bad. It's not bad. I think some places where I went wrong are I, well, all of the things that went wrong in the beginning. I hope my family eats it. <laughs> Thanks again for watching. Again, subscribe to my channel if you want to see videos like this every Monday. Happy Aries season, everyone. Grandma, what's what? your favorite thing about me? Wow. You're drinking. What's that fuzzy thing about the camera? <laughs> it's the microphone. It's like a boom. It's a boom. Oh, it's a boom. I'm the I love your dancing. Oh, yes! I love the fact that we both know the lyrics to like every song ever written. That's true. And we sing them together and dance as well. What's your favorite thing about me? That I'm your mother. <laughs> <laughs>